Hi guys and welcome to another video. Maybe you thought it's finally time for you to update your Windows 10 and then there is this stupid error that won't let you perform the update. In this video I'm going to show you an easy fix for it so you can go ahead with the update, why not up to Windows 11. First let's try to check if the integrated Windows troubleshooting does not help with your error. Just select the troubleshoot from the left menu, then go and select additional troubleshooters and run the Windows update one. Once the troubleshooter finishes, just try to see if it solved your problem. If not, let's move on to step 2, checking the integrity of your Windows. We'll start by performing a system file check. Press the Windows button, then type in PowerShell. Look up the Windows PowerShell result, right-click on it and then select Run as Administrator. In the PowerShell window, type fsc forward slash scan now. You can copy-paste the command from the video description. What this does is that it checks your file system for potentially corrupted files. Wait until it finishes and see if it comes up with any errors. If everything went fine, since we already have this window open, we'll also run a Windows image checker. Just type in the same window the command disp forward slash online forward slash cleanup minus image forward slash scan help. It's probably better when you copy paste the command from the video description. Once the command runs, if it does find any issues with the Windows image, you should run the same command but using forward slash restore help instead of forward slash scan help. At this point you can try to check to see if your Windows update still gives you the same error. If it still does, then let's move on to step number 3. Just open up a browser and download the Windows Assistant, link is in the description. Once the assistance is downloaded, just run it. Select the update now and it should be shown a screen where it says congratulations this PC is compatible. Click on update now and hopefully the update process should start. If it does, it will start downloading the update, verifying it and then starting the installation. Once the first part of the installation is finished, it will ask for a reboot. The installation process will continue after the reboot. Don't worry if the computer resets several times, this is normal. When it finally reaches the OS, open up the Windows Update window again. Even though, as in my case it says that Windows is up to date, do click on check for updates. It might take a while, but it will most likely show up a list of updates that are already installed and waiting for a reboot or some that are still downloading. Wait for all of the updates to download, then reboot your computer again. The installation process will again reboot your computer several times. When it finally reaches the desktop, do perform another check just to make sure that no additional Windows updates are required. If your computer is compatible with Windows 11, a hint might come up that you can go ahead with that update as well. So this is it guys, I hope this fix worked for you and your PC is now fully updated. If you encounter any issues, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have fun!